Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farah Alam and in this session we are going to take a look on how can we create or add the charts in our RTF template and the steps for creating RTF template I hope is clear to you all. So in order to create any RTF template what we need, we need to create a, a data model and then we can export uh, that particular data model and uh, load the sample data in our uh, uh, word file so let me just uh, quickly create uh, my data model first so for that i just have to go to my instance first so let me reach out to my instance first so this is basically my uh, catalog window and under catalog uh, uh, I had created my own folder and here I am going to create one data model so what data model I am going to create uh, uh, for uh, this uh, chart uh, representation I am going to take uh, uh, I am going to show you the head counts uh, uh, headcount details department wise so we are going to uh, create uh, a data model for the headcount by department so here i have my query so i'm just going to copy this one this is basically my query I'm selecting my SQL query and here I have to provide uh, one appropriate name which is this one department head account and I have to select my data source and I have to paste my query over here let me execute this one So here uh, we can see that uh, my query has been successfully executed but uh, one more thing I want to modify over here which is the um, column names. So column names is, are basically showing it over here S1 and S2 which is not uh, um, properly uh, understandable. So I am just going to provide appropriate header name. So S1 basically contains the department name and S2 contains the headcount detail. So I am just going to rename these headers. So here you can see that I have renamed my column names after renaming it I'm just going to click on view data and then view. And right now it is displaying five rows if I select more number of rows. So here we can see our information has been displayed in the tabular format. Now the next step is to save this data model. So I'm just going to save it. Thank you. 
so here i have saved my data model with this name department headcount info dm now the next step i am going to export this data model and here you can see that it has been exported now i am going to open one blank word document file over here and next step is i'm going to load my sample xml data which i have just exported so which is this one department headcount info export it so here the data has been export uh, loaded successfully we get one confirmation message now uh, we will uh, include some header information over here like uh, the logo for an organization its name and its uh, website information so i'm just going to do all these things so here you can see that i have inserted uh, the organization information and the uh, proper heading for this one uh, now the next step is i am just going to click on this bi publisher data model and here uh, instead of clicking on a table or chart uh, uh, table wizard i am going to click on this chart option as we are going to add the chart in our rtf template so let me just add one more thing over here so here here i have inserted uh, um, some text regarding this uh, um, template so what uh, basically this template contains so this is basically the report which contains uh, the top 10 uh, department top 10 head counts by the department so i'm just going to click on chart option over here and here we can see that uh, under this particular data set we have one group g1 which which contains the department name and its head count so i am just going to drag and drop these uh, columns uh, under the appropriate uh, fields over here so head count will going to uh, under values field and department will going to under label so here i am going to click on preview option so that they will be able to see and the preview of this particular chart so here we can see we can see the preview uh, for our chart now i am going to click on okay so here i am just going to uh, move it center and okay now the next step is to save this one so i am going to save it on my desktop sorry and on details by department and this just click on save and then after doing all these things i just have to go to under this bi publisher tab and here we have multiple uh, uh, uh output uh, options available like pdf html so here we are discussing about the rtf one so i am going to click on this rtf option click on save so here we can see our rtf template has been generated which contains uh, the head count information by department department wise head count information and uh, what in uh, which departments and the top 10 departments we are going to see for this one you can see 1 2 3 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो बेसिकली इट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग टॉप टेन डिपार्ट टॉप टेन हेड काउंट बाय डिपार्टमेंट सो दिस इज बेसिकली हाउ कैन वी एड और इंसर्ट चार्ट इन आर आर टी एफ टेम्पलेट और मोर स्पेसिफिकली बारग्राफ हेयर वी हैव सीन द बारग्राफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट सम अदर चार्ट सो यू कैन डू दैट एज वेल यू जस्ट हैव टू गो टू अंडर दिस चार्ट ऑप्शन एंड हेयर यू कैन सी द टाइप सो वॉट एवर टाइप यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले फॉर योर ग्राफ यू कैन सिलेक्ट इट ओवर हेयर लाइक this is basically the vertical bar graph if you want to display the horizontal bar graph so you can select it from here here it is bar graph horizontal if you want to include area graph and if you want to represent the same information in the uh, pie chart format so you can do that also depending on your requirement you can select your uh, chart so this is basically about the vertical bar graph and uh, all about our today's session which is about charts adding charts in our rtf template and all about our today's session if you have any question regarding this one please reach out to us at www.bispetrainings.com or www.bispsolutions.com thank you everyone